I'm sorry, Cheryl, but standard protocol. The police brought him in in connection to a massive murder spree that occurred at a private nightclub. Initial report says he did it. There is nothing about any so-called protocol. That applies to this guy. He came in with almost no skin. Ion displacement shows electrocution. 20 hours later, he has regenerated skin and hair. You had him in that IOD tank. That's what it does. It creates a womb-like environment that stimulates the stem cells to activate and regenerate. Although I don't know, or didn't even know, that it was so fast. He is now to be secured till the police come. That, that's it, Luke. It's nowhere near that fast. But if you had asked the local doctor of AOD, you would know. That's me. I'm sorry, Cheryl. I was concerned for your safety. For everyone's safety, and, and with what you said, I'm sure I made the right decision. For your information, his signs may be stable, but genetic memory XM check shows he was dead. I am still unsure of his mental capacity. We don't have the slightest idea of any sudden cognitive return to find yourself in there. What do you think that will do for his sanity? Do me a favor, Luke. Just ignore Dr. Dardano's rule. You hate them as I do. I got an idea. Let's treat this one like a human. Just this once. Hey, look, it's me. I know you're not that kind of person. Don't let fear of Dr. Dardano's control you. It's, it's not that easy. You see, your new project has already used the most expensive piece of equipment and is in room 13, high security. He will ask questions. And? Give me a complete report as to what you want and why, and I'll look it over. I'll need reports and records covering anything he would want to know. This one will take some effort, as well as any related reports that will support that being sedated or imprisoned is a further threat than a benefit. You mean the usual? I assure the stories match. In case we're caught, no problem, love. Oh, and um, take Ribbon here back to her room. Thank you, Luke. I'll get her out of here. Main problem is this plan of Cheryl's. It is a strange amount of attention our new guest has already gained. It had been only 20 hours ago that this man had arrived. His insane activity, nothing new here. A hospital like ours is its own social environment, like high school. When a new guy arrives, big dogs have to test him. Is he alpha male or them? Believe me, we have some big dogs here. They decide, will they hate, fear, like, or loathe him? But old man Kardak, his only reason for being here is his age. He has nowhere else. He's a family friend of Dr. Dardanos, the owner as well as head administrator. They talk. That's the problem. I guess I should clarify that old age crack. Kardak's condition, although this is not my boss's opinion, is a natural response to living, especially as long as he has. All there are questions about the quality of the records. They at least can prove that he has passed 100. That puts him in the top 5% limits of aging humans. He feels depressed that all he knows is dead. He feels excluded by society as well as misunderstood. He has an overdeveloped sense of self-worth based upon the facts that as a doctor, he once was all that in a bag of chips. All this seems normal to me. The only exception that he believes death is after him, personally. Let me light a hand.